in LA, it was like, oh my God, you were on a TV show. Like where they would, they would just you invite you to a house and there would just be like tables full of stuff and they'd be like, take what you want. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this is, if I called my boys and told them about yeah. this, like this would be crazy. Yeah, like New just, York, if you were walking late at night, there's you know, some kids would be like, yo, let's let's rob AJ Soprano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a thing, I'd be like, yeah, we tell people we fucking robbed AJ Soprano. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. I would get robbed in New York City and I'd go to LA to get stuff back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not today. We got a New York overlord. I knew I knew you guys. Well, <laughs> sit on the as soon as you walked in, yeah. you're like, "Oh, this is I very." I think I know you guys from somewhere. We've got. That's usually what people say. Yeah, you we, look familiar. That happens to me all the time. Yeah, where people are like, "I know you from something." They think they went to school with me. I'm like, "You're 20 years older than me," but like, <laughs> let's not let's not go crazy. Uh, our guest today is Giannis Papas. We have a New York overlord. Woo-hoo! That's right. Yeah. Two yeah. Yankees hats. Yeah. He just Long got Island. called sir. Yeah. It's a big day. Yeah. The sir just makes you feel old. It's tough. It does. Yeah. yeah. It does. I I thought you I'll were never my forget age. my first ma'am. Yeah. The ma'am's. Wh- yeah. Ma'am fucking blows. It hits hard. It does. It's almost like you get called a slur. It was. Yeah. I felt it was an insult. Yeah. A deep insult to my core. Yeah. When was your? Was it here in Texas? It was. Ooh, you I should be what? able to shoot them in Texas if they say that. You think, right? <laughs> like, I just stood my ground, <laughs> holding on to my. I gotta buy a gun youth. first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I thought they just give you one when you move down here. No, well, Cutter has. I'm my reading the wrong news. Bit. Yeah, I'm reading yeah. the wrong news. He's got. Mm, we'll tell you yeah. fake news. Yeah, fake it's fake news. news. It's it's so crazy when you're down here what they say about up there, and when you're up there what they say about down yeah, here, and yeah. then you're down here and you're like it's the same, yeah. like not the exact, but you're like it's. The but we same. also live in Austin. Like you need to venture a little outside, even just a little bit, because my kid plays. Or into like, Rogan's Club, and you can get. Oh, it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. You go outside or into Rogan's Club, and yeah. you're in the South. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, up there they think they're just like ripping babies out of wombs here. That's right. what I thought. I was going to get off the plane. I was just going to see people reaching inside women and pulling babies. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's the opposite. I'm sorry. They're that's keeping New York. them in. Yeah, that's yeah, New York. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Have yeah. Them out. Here they just push them. They just that's push right. them back in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I, I don't want to shit on LA, but I think the reason why Sopranos, like the the cat, everything was so good was they didn't go to LA for the fucking people. Mm-hmm. They it was all everybody was New York. That's a great point. Everybody. Yeah. And like, authentically New York. Yeah. Authentically New York. Yeah. I mean, there were Tony Srico did like a long time in prison. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like they were re- they were really, you know, we're like whenever we would travel out to LA, like I feel like as soon as we would land, we'd be like, This is different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, we, we would you would only be there for a few days, but it was like, This is not the same. Like people in New York will fucking step on your shit. Like they don't give a fuck. Where like in LA, it was like, oh my God, you were on a TV show. Like, what do you want? Yeah. Like yeah. take, take any, come in our house, take stuff. Like yeah. anything. Remember we used to, there literally used to be things where like we would show up places and they, what would they call those like gifting suites? Oh yeah. Where they would, they would just you invite you to a house and they would just be like tables full of stuff and they'd be like, take what you want. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this is, if I called my boys and told them about yeah. this, like this would be crazy. Yeah, like New you're York, just... if you were walking late at night, there's you know, some kids would be like, yo, let's, let's rob AJ Soprano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a thing, I'd be like, yeah, we tell people we fucking robbed AJ Soprano. Well, that's yeah. the thing. Right. I would get robbed in New York City and I'd go to LA to get stuff back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd just fly home with it and I'd be, you know. Yeah, New you're York. like, it's all right. The Emmys are coming up. I'll be yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll get yeah. a new pair of sunglasses. No, yeah, yeah it's weird to <laughs> It, it, New York is like that. It really is. I mean, it's obviously changed, but like I was just in Vancouver and everyone's so nice and like everyone talks to you and I just thought everyone wanted to have sex because they were just sure. being nice to me. And right. I was like, oh, I'm married. I can't. And then you go to New York and someone smiles at you. You just assume they're special needs. Yeah. If someone smiles at you, like this kid's got to be slow. Right. <laughs> or what do they want? Yeah. Or they want something or yeah. If you hear, can I talk to you for a second? Just run. Yep. Yeah. No. New York. You're like, hey man, can I talk to you for a second? You're just like... No, it's not it's good. It's true. Very little eye contact made in no, New York. Very not. little eye contact. Yeah. I almost I almost wanted to, I wanted to pull for the first time in my life a citizen's arrest the other day because I was on like one of the main streets. <laughs> I was on like one of the main streets. They're just streets picturing out, it. Yeah. I was on one of the main streets out here and there were two people standing on a corner who clearly were trying to talk to people. You know, they had like the fucking vest on and whatever. And two people come in scooters down the fucking street like going pretty fast and they jump out in front of them and stop them and i'm like right there and i'm like what are they about to do and they were like have you heard of the blah, blah, forest conservatory i was like that should be illegal yeah. <laughs> like these people were booking it down the street and these people fucking stopped them to be like hey would you listen about our far and the two people on the scooters were like are you fucking serious <laughs> like it was crazy yeah. like they're that's some that, balls yeah just full of full like 
stopping you on walking is a problem. Yes. Like, I'm on a fucking scooter, yeah. dude. I've never seen that before. You I was like, I'd hit him. Yeah, I just keep going. Yeah. I would my whole day. I think, like, I think I'd be scooter jacked or something. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. An hour later, I was like, did that really fucking happen? Yeah. And they're just so like, they want to talk to you about their cause. And it's like, dude, a fucking forest? Like, yeah. what are you talking about? <laughs> the whole scooter thing is that was when I first started coming to Austin. That was weird for me that there's just scooters. And then when you're done with them, you just leave them. You just leave yeah. them on the street. I was like, or throw them into the lake. They or like you throw them in the too. lake. Or they throw people in the lake too. I just <laughs> yeah, yeah. read about that. It's like eight missing people. That's right. Yeah. Um, but I was like, I saw the scooters and they just like flung on the street. And I was just like, is anyone looking for all these missing children? <laughs> <laughs> right. I was like, there's a bunch of missing children. They're like, no, these adults that use them. I'm like, that's a weird thing. That's a weird thing. Yeah. Yeah. We're a car. We're a, you're a Long Island. We're a car. I'm a culture. car girl. And we're at Subway and subway. car. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I hated yep. Subway, but yeah, Subway. We don't walk, get on walk. I'm a full 100 percent walker. Yeah, I love to. Fu- I'll leave an hour and a half early just to walk somewhere. Yeah, I fucking love it. Yeah, the New scooter thing is a big trend. I have my friend who's from the Lower East Side, Sergio Sergio Ciccone. He's a funny comedian, but he's like a tough boxing, like Puerto Rican kid from the Lower East Side, and he's got one of those scooters now, like that he gets on. It's like electronic, and it just looks funny. Just a big dude with tattoos and a scooter. So yeah. Every time he gets on it, I just make like a like a uh, effeminate uh, like noise, like <laughs> when he starts like, rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> Yeah, it's um those things are they've taken over. They the scooters. Have. Yeah. Super so, popular. Something I gotta know. Can you tell us about when you got shot? Yes. Yeah. Well I was de- I was defending I was defending <laughs> the relationship of Meadow and the t- Oh, <laughs> <Beep> it. <laughs> and uh yeah i got into it. no it was uh it was uh when i first started doing comedy i was like um i used to work at a nightclub and uh yeah it was like an attempted robbery on a friend of mine who was the promoter and yeah i got shot point blank wow. range. yeah where in the leg like right by the uh the old brajo really to really? Bala, yeah yeah so it was like what inner- is it what is the what is the moment you get shot feel like? It's a it's a it's a weird moment because, well, at least mine was because it was I was so aware of you feel helpless. I was in a car. It happened when I was in a car, so I thought I was dying. I thought it was I was going to be dead. So I did sort of have that moment of like, oh God, my life's ending. And I was like twenty one or two at the time. And oh my God. Uh, yeah, that moment. I'm I'm in trauma therapy now dealing with it. Are you in pain or is it such yeah. a shock? Just, no, the, the, you feel nothing. It's just uh, you late a little bit later. I felt the hotness, the, the burn, burn, right? Yeah, but you you feel nothing. It's adrenaline. Because your body's in shock. Adrenaline and yeah, your mind. Go, the weird things happen in your mind. Like it feels like a dream. Like it, it's like either four hours or a second. And you have no idea. You're just your brain is doing like a bunch of. And he shoots you and runs. So. I've told this story so many times. I'm but, sorry. No, it's fine. Did it's it go totally through the fine. car door? Or he it's like totally reached. It? Yeah, I got. We got to know. I'll tell you the whole story. For, Thank you for the fans. Yeah, it's for not fans for us. Of, of violent crime, <laughs> true crime. Um, so uh, we were we were walking up the block. He carries a lot of money and cash with him. The promoter, right? So I kind of looked over my shoulder as I was getting in the passenger side of the car, and I saw the kid. He had like a mask on and gloves and the gun. And I saw it, and I just made the decision to try to get in the car. He sped up and then like I was trying to close the door. He kind of knocked my arm in, fell in the car. I saw the gun. I just grabbed it. I pushed it down. He fired Fuck. and hit me in the leg. Whoa. And then, uh, yeah, I made the conscious decision to like to pretend like I was dead. These are like things that happen, like instinct. Yeah. Is and there like screaming going on at this point and mm, yelling or is it like- My friend screamed and he like ran out of the car and he's like, help, help. And he ran around the corner. But me, there was no screaming between me and him, no. It happened fast. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, he kicked me a few times when I like slithered to the ground. Is that a word? Slithered? Slithered. Yeah. Slid down to the ground. That I feel like yeah. I pictured it perfectly. You've been shot, slithered. so you could you could fuck up. Yeah, fine. yeah. You know, we'll be like, oh, don't <laughs> yeah. make fun. I mean, he was shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I should. That should be a. I should get a good seat on the plane for that. Yeah. 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 I don't know if yeah. it's MS, but you know. Yeah. Listen, yeah. play the card. Yeah, I should as be in comfort plus a little bit. At least the plane should be like that. Should be you were rare. injured near the groin. You need to put your legs out a little yeah, bit further. I exactly. get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then, uh, yeah. So you slithered to the ground. I slithered to the ground. <laughs> I slithered. Yeah, he did like a couple kicks, I think, and then he ran and uh, he got caught and we had to go to trial. He pled not guilty and 
the whole thing. So you, do you have to get surgery? So I, they left the bullet in because it was so like deeply embedded. So do you, are you, do, you're in New York City? This was in New so York City, you it was get, in Soho. You the, hop in a taxi or you call an ambulance? No, or no, no, what no do ambulance, you? yeah, ambulance came, they cut my pants off and- uh, you So know, you it was have like a bullet a in it's you. It's like a hole. No, they took it out eventually. They took it out. They took, they it, took out. it out. They did take it out did like you keep a year it? later. No, they take it as evidence. Even though the trial happened, like they took it as evidence. I thought like, the guy was innocent. What do you mean evidence? Yeah, right. I mean, he was already <laughs> convicted too, but they kept it. Yeah, like they kept the bullet. Wow. I would have liked that. So yeah, sorry that, that happened. Yeah, it sucked. It's not great. I, you know, I was at a fucking poker game the other night, and I was, it was the first time where I was. You farted? Real, no, no, but it was the first time where I was around, like, as I'm, I'm sober, so I'm not around people who are drinking a lot. And it was the first time where I was around guys who were really fucking drinking, and they were doing, uh, the, the like white clothes, like the seltzers or whatever. And listen, I'm not a guy who's like, hey, you burped or what, but it became like eight dudes just burping <laughs> every fucking 30 <laughs> seconds to the point where I was like, I think I want to go. Yeah. Like, I was like, I just don't, I feel like I don't belong here. Like, this is horrible. Yeah. So I know what it's like to be shot. Is, is that a good poker tactic though? If you want to throw people off, like you just keep burping? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get a read on it. Yeah, them. you can't get a read if someone's just like. It is distracting. Yeah. 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 It was, they're like, I'm all in. Yeah. Yeah, and then you're like, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, you're good at poker, huh? I'm all right. Yeah. yeah I just think other people are bad. I don't right. think I'm, like I watch the people who are the best in the world and I'm like, I suck. Like I, I, I like, I like to like watch them and study them and this and you're like, fuck, they're so good. But then I go and like sit with eight people and I'm like, God, these people are, but they go play poker twice a month when their wife fucking yeah. lets them and they, they're just having a good time. Yeah. They're not like at home studying fucking poker. Yeah. Know? There's not a lot of people who put a lot of time into poker. Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's well, like. Rob has time to put in time. Yeah. yeah, I got time is one thing I got. Yeah, we got we got time. A lot of people are like I don't have time for this. I got time. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot of time too. Yeah, you do? I got a lot and of you have two kids. Yeah, and, yeah I have two kids. How do I you have time with kids? Well, that's the thing. I have I have time Bad compared parent. to normal people. Like I'm calling them normal. Um, you people who aren't like in entertainment who have nine civilians. to five. Yeah, we yeah civilians. civilians. Yeah, we yeah. complain a lot, but it's like I'm home all day or right. I'm on the road and then I work for this is the only thing I'm doing today. Right, I'm, I think I'm doing a set later at the mothership, but this is it, and yeah. like, that's 15 minutes or whatever. This is what half hour, 40 minutes, whatever yep. you guys do, yeah. and then that's it. Right. And so yeah. it's like not a hard life. See, it's so it must be so cool to be a comedian where you're just like, yeah, this is the only thing I'm doing today. Oh yeah, and a set at the mothership. Yeah. Like meanwhile, most people would be fucking shitting their pants of being like, do you oh, get I'm nervous? gonna go do a set. Yeah, I still do. And if I'm not nervous, that's something wrong. That's when something's gonna go wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you do if if you're about to do a set and you're not nervous? Where are you, what are you thinking? Are you like, uh oh? I was like, I gotta get uh, like some hero like heroin or coke and well, heroin. That'll, that'll get you real yeah, not nervous. <laughs> heroin I understand why people do it though. <laughs> You'll it, be sleeping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not nervous. Let me do some H. Yeah. yeah. If I'm not nervous, I'm just worried that I'm not in a, I'm not focused. Yeah. Doesn't and I'm coke bomb. I've never done coke. Doesn't coke make you Loser. feel um like <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've established this already. Doesn't Coke make you feel like invincible? Yeah, I think so. I haven't done it. I've never done is that coke. What, oh my is God. That, is that I'm why fucking coke? Yeah. Would that Jesus. be why coke? I've never robbed somebody in the Upper East Side either. I mean, <laughs> if we're going to... We've also covered that as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I only say that because I think doing stand-up comedy sounds to me like the scariest thing in the world. Like to have to... I get nervous like already when I'm going to think I'm going to say something maybe funny if it's going to land to put me up on a stage with everyone staring at me for a couple of minutes straight trying to repeatedly make them laugh literally sounds like the scariest thing to me. So I would need a drug that would make me feel invincible to do it. No, that's not Coke. Uh, what do you what do you I mean, to me, that's alcohol. Alcohol is the thing that makes you sure. feel fucking invincible where you're like, yeah, I'll fucking do what it like. What do you want to do? Like. And anything, yeah, yeah. Like you want to, like I hate flying, but if it's like you have fucking six drinks, it's like you want to get on a plane. I don't fucking care. Like you know, there was like, yeah, they both do it. They both numb you out. They make you feel like invincible. Because or... coke makes some people paranoid. Yeah, which I never got. I because I would always drink with it, and it would make me like you know, like if if I was in my apartment and I heard a noise in the hallway and I was sober, I'd be like, oh my god, who's out there? You know, yeah. where like if I was on coke and drink, I'd be like, who's out there? Yeah. Like let's fucking find, let's get them in here, yeah. let's hang out. Like it made. So I don't know. I think maybe it, it it definitely does different things to different people. It's funny though. It's like, yeah, Coke and drinking make you feel like invincible and you have no, you know, fears or whatever. And you're 
But then you get in the bedroom and there's always a yin to the yang. Mm -hmm. You're like, you're the biggest, yeah, I'm the most confident guy, I'm on coke. And then you get in the bedroom and you're just holding, trying to get it in and you just can't keep you're, it up. Yeah. Right, yeah. There's Especially if you're yeah. doing condoms. Yeah, yeah. If you're trying to have sex with a condom oh. and you're doing fucking forget, it's yeah. just not, there's What's no, the go home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've never done it, but I've heard. I've so heard. you just, you work with your nerves. I work with my nerves. I work with my nerves. So they work for you, essentially. They do. How about with acting? Is it like you get nervous before? Like that would scare me. I get nervous before a job. Yeah. Like every, right before I'm going to start any job. Also like auditions is like like instant stomach ache. The like I, an audition comes in and I'm like, fuck. Right. Like I just, I hate it. Because I just feel like it's such a fast paced thing a lot of the time auditioning and they don't give you, they give you as much explanation as possible, but it's still so broad and you're just, I like specificity because I like to work with like, okay, this is what you're wanting. This is the vibe you're wanting. And there's, it moves so fast. You very rarely get that. So yeah. I don't like feeling like I'm just putting my interpretation out there. Also with the self tape world as great as it is, cause I get to live here in Austin. I just hate the idea once I send it in, I'm like, two people could watch this or like a thousand people could watch it you don't know. sending it to their friends being because like, i have a best friend in casting and whenever i'm with her she's like check these out yeah. you know oh bad one. yeah, yeah. I, th there used to be like so we would film sopranos on the stage and then like upstairs with the offices and sometimes when you go up there they would have like someone's headshot on the wall and they'd be like this guy sends a fucking audition in once a week and he's the worst actor you've ever seen. And they would be like laughing about him and showing. Well, we would see people coming in for auditioning. I remember I saw Bobby Cannavale coming in to audition. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, this is so crazy. You're like, you know, you're you, but there's yeah. it coming to Silver. It's audition. very vulnerable. You're very vulnerable very. when you're getting judged That's like that. Word. I hate auditions. I. I go in, I almost feel like apologizing when I'm done. I'm like, I'm sorry. I want to apologize before know, too. <laughs> yeah. Like as Maybe soon as I walk in. Maybe that's what I'm going to start doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At the end of my audition, that's the, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Because see, here's, the, here's what I think is like, if, if, you, if they say like, you're at a park. So if you put us here, it's like, we, you could kind of be like, oh, well, even if I mess up, like people will believe, right? Like we're, when you're in front of a fucking white wall and they're like, you're at a park. Yeah. And then you're fucking, you scramble it's for hard. a second. It's yeah. like, look at this idiot scrambling in front of a white wall. <laughs> thinking it's just, it's yeah. so the fucking, I hate auditioning. I think I've done three in the last 15 years. And I was like, every time I take a five year break after, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, that was hell. Like, it's, it's just, it's humiliating. so embarrassing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That like, you want to try that again? You're like, yeah. I, that's all. I, yeah. I just did my best. Like, yeah. they're like, yeah. oh. You ugh. can tell yeah. when you don't get it to like, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. And then, you know, so I started auditioning when I was six and they would like, some people would be like, all right, yeah, whatever. But, but there would be like the, you know, really nice women who would want to make you think you did good, even though they know you didn't get the part. Yeah. And then you notice that. Yeah. You're like, oh, I was so bad. This person is reassuring me that I'm not awful. Yeah. You know? And you're like, man, this is real sad. Yeah. Where like other spots are like, all right, see ya. And you just go to the fucking next one. Yeah. Acting's hard. It's not easy. People think it's easy and it's not. Yeah. You can't, like, I can't turn off my brain. Yeah. And like, so in the auditions, I'm doing just that. I'm going like, there's a wall. I'm, there's the person. I'm, yeah. And then they're like, all right, you're on a ship. And I'm like, okay, I got the gun. I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just can't do it. I'm like, yeah, I'm on a ship. Okay. It's, it it's, just doesn't it's work. It's very for me. dumb. I just a lot feel of the stupid. Times. Yeah, yeah. I feel I'm stupid. I'm still convinced to this day the only reason I got Meadow is because my Long Island accent was just ripe. It was just perfect you, for what they good. wanted. I mean, you probably being good had something to do with that. Both yeah. of you guys are incredible in it. Thanks. Yeah, everyone. I just looked like James at the yeah. time, and they were like, "You that's do him. look like him a little bit." Yeah. Yeah. At the yeah. time, it was definitely like it was. Yeah. Uh, there's no way you don't believe that that's yeah. his kid, and yeah. like the pilot or whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, oh yeah, they definitely. Yeah. 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 I'm just I'm at that point uh, where AJ just um, faints in the football game, just poof, goes down. Oh, okay, because yeah. I think it happens more than once in the show. The first time. The I first guess this time is was the at first a football time. game. Yeah, at the football game. I never you watched it. You did really good. You never watched it. I huh? never watched any of it, so I don't remember shit. Like it's like trying to remember something I did twenty years ago with like my friends. Like I'm really? like, Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I don't I have very uh Yeah. Looking for an easy way to have some fun without leaving your house? Enter DraftKings Casino, the number one online casino in America, with over three hundred real money games. I'm partnering with DraftKings on this video to let you know about an exciting deal they have going on right now. 
all new customers who sign up using promo code not today and make a minimum five dollar deposit will get an instant deposit match up to one hundred dollars in casino credits with over 175 slot games for you to choose from including your favorites and an assortment of DraftKings exclusives there are so many ways to have fun if DraftKings casino isn't yet available in your state check out DraftKings daily fantasy app where you can win cash prizes all season long. Head to DraftKings Casino app right now and sign up using promo code not today. Make a deposit of at least $5 and DraftKings will instantly match that deposit dollar for dollar up to $100 in casino credits. Mm. We got so I'm going to read you these emails we got and you say as our guest you you you, you, get to pick you choose. Which. What do you what are you feeling? So okay. we got one the title is Hidden Nudes. We got Conflicting Boundaries. Husband forgot twentieth anniversary. Newborn life. Adult pigtails. That's interesting. And the Adult last one pigtails. is erectile dysfunction is a bummer. Cocaine. We were just talking about that. Um, I'm gonna go with the hidden nudes. I mean, hidden nudes let's for four hundred, Alex. <laughs> yeah, let's find it the first one. Hidden nudes. You want to read it? No. You go want ahead. me to read go it? Ahead. I'm the reader. Your, okay. You got your. I don't have my glasses, so but I'll hold it hold out on. like this. And see, <laughs> you're in a park. <laughs> hey, Jamie and Rob. And Giannis. And Giannis. My best friend, who's practically my brother, our relationship is very similar to yours, I've known him since I was six, has been dating a girl for around six months. Recently, he went through her phone and he stumbled upon some pretty explicit videos. These were in a hidden folder and they were from back in 2021 when she was with her ex. Now here's the kicker. She claims she had no clue those videos were there, but my friend is finding it hard to buy that. I mean, how could she not know, right? I don't want to judge her for making those videos, but it feels kind of off. And seriously, not knowing they were there since 2021 sounds a bit fishy to me. I just need some opinions on this. What do you guys think? Love you both in the pod. Carol. I have my opinion, but I won't give it first. We'll let you go first. What do you think? So she definitely knew that they were there. Of course. I, you know, I mean, Carol knows that. We all know Carol that. Carol knows. That's yeah. not my take, just so you know. My take that's coming, that's not... Really? I have no idea like if if i had a personal assistant the first two things i would have them do is go to my email and unsubscribe from all the junk mail because it's just littered with junk but the other thing is to go through my phone and delete all the crap in there like i have shit from fucking 10 years ago yeah in, but in if my they're phone. like a good explicit video maybe you want to save it yeah but this is 2021 it's not 10 years ago right 2021 was like Two three years ago. You want to know but my I'm just opinion? Saying, like, I have everything in my phone. Like I, you could go through my phone right now and be like, oh, you know, you still had this video from 2013. I'd be like, oh yeah. Like I, I don't, I don't know what's going on in there. I don't yeah. keep up to. But nudes. I think she could have forgotten about them. Yeah, that's what I. Th- that's what I think. But my real thing is, I think Carol is in love with her best friend. Wow, you're reading between the lines. <laughs> the subtext. This is because, Long Island nah, shit. This yeah, is Long Island shit. Uh, because, and Carol, I think you should think about this and explore it because I, <laughs> you're bothered by this. And I wouldn't, like, if I think of, if this was Rob, really, to me, right? And he was like, so Well, let's, let's play it out. I, if I say, okay, hey. I'm, oh, you want to do some acting? Yes. Okay, you're <laughs> yeah. the new girl that Rob is dating. Okay. I'm Carol. You're the best friend. Okay. You have to find the picture. You, he finds videos. On my, oh, I don't I, have to I, tell but, you. Yeah. You know what happens. But what I think am I doing? it should be me. I'm telling you because okay. I need, I need oh, your. Okay. But, but I think like you were saying, if this was Rob, I want to know what you would do if it was Rob. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. If, if I'm saying. So tell me. So if I'm like, James, I've just been dating this girl for how long? How long they say they've been together? Uh, they I've, she's six, known months? six she's months? She's known since they were six. And <laughs> dating six months. Six months. Right. So if I'm six like, months. Jamie, I've been dating this girl for uh six months yeah and i went through her phone the other day because i had to make a bet and they banned me on the site and you know you know how it is for me it's tough out there and uh i came across some uh some videos of her bent over a sink getting slammed by some guy now where am i right now am i in the scene or am i fucking the ex (laughs) (laughs) you have to act out the video (laughs) i'm fucking the ex yeah Yeah. Yeah. you could do sound effects yeah "Uh, because that's what's going on uh, here uh, (laughs) (laughs) well from when uh, I, I I think it was about I think they were all like three years ago. It was COVID, so people were going through tough with tough her ex boyfriend. It was with her ex. Yeah, this bitch, you should dump her. Yeah, I think that's what you. This would is do. And is this where I enter? 
Yeah. Who the fuck are you calling a bitch, bitch? You dirty <laughs> hoe, bitch. <laughs> Listen, I got good pussy and I like to share it. Ladies, ladies. Not okay? if you're dating Rob. <laughs> well, you don't know what my ex-boyfriend's hog's like. It's addictive. Listen, I really want you both to get along. <laughs> well, it's hard for me because I dated him for the dick and I dated him for the money and his sensitivity. So with them both, I get the full man that I want. Don't judge me. It's 2024. I'm Filipino and disabled. <laughs> Yeah. Don't yell at me. Babe, just let Jamie just leave her alone. I'm gonna when she, when cancel she gets, you. When she gets like this, it's crazy. I just, can't just, now. This is why I, I just I let also free Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm just okay with the videos, Jamie. You just gotta let her. She's, she's you guys crazy. are fucking problematic coming at me. You don't know what I've been through. You thought, you represent the people. I thought she was Taiwanese. I'm kind of bummed. You are I am fucking <laughs> Chinese. How dare you? <laughs> <You're> Chinese. <laughs> well, I think Carol's in love with him. Why else would she be bothered? I would not mind if Cutter had videos with an ex. I would be like, I'd like you to get those off your phone. Are we still phone. in the scene or are we out? Oh, I'm we're, sorry. I'm not, sorry, a, I'm not a trained actor. See, we're actors, so we're always you everywhere. Oh, tell. yeah, nobody <laughs> called scene. So I was <laughs> right. still in it. I was still, okay. Yeah, you okay. could be, a, you could be not Filipino <laughs> again. <laughs> if my husband or my boyfriend had videos of with him and an ex, yeah, I would be upset they were on his phone and say, get rid of them or question why he still had him. But these are still recent enough. They've only been dating a couple of months. I don't know. Wait, were these videos or just nudes? She should have been specific. What did she say? Did, I think did they were just nudes. Videos. Pretty explicit videos. videos. Oh, pretty yeah, explicit videos. So there were sex tapes videos. with the ex. Yeah. You don't lose those. Those are classics. Those you, are by like, the way, you guys all got to hold on to those yeah, you so nobody on, else and has it. First of all, who, why is it looking through the phone? Who's going through the phone? This is another that's a, thing. That's a trust that's issue. Crazy. This is another that's thing. Crazy. Yeah, that's a trust issue. But also, this I think is like, another thing. Also, is, is, does marriage really mean anything anymore? I think maybe that's what we make marriage mean. Like the day that you say, like you could stand there across from your partner and go, I'm going to go in here and delete. That's great for vows. Like if you write your own vows, you're like, I'm going to open up my hidden folder right now. I'm gonna that's what the ceremony the actually jobs. should be. Yeah, and yeah. That's the that's ceremony what... should actually be computers and phones and devices and deleting all evidence of X. Because should what be. does it really mean now at this point? Not it's right. just like fucking tax shit, which I don't even understand because I've never been married. Right, right. If you a do that, you're showing a huge commitment when you erase the old stuff. Yes. Let me ask you guys this question: If you keep the video and you fantasize about it, masturbate to it, is that cheating? Mm, I I mean is that bad? I question. would much rather my boyfriend be masturbating to me than an ex. Yeah, yeah that would really that bother me. That defeats the point of masturbation. That would really yeah. bother me. Because he would just go and have sex with you. He wouldn't just. Well, what if I'm on the road? Well, then he'll. Pick it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, James. Here's here's the thing. If we have a scale from one to ten, right? Okay. How mad would you be if you walked in on Cutter jerking off to just porn? One to ten. And I was home. Let me make this yeah, a little yeah. spicier. Trans porn. <laughs> <laughs> well, You'd want to explore it, no? no. I want to up the stakes uh, and see. I would be a th four. Okay, a four. Now you walk in, you see he's jerking off to his phone. When you look at his phone, it's him banging his 11, ex. 11, 12, 20, out of my house. Things. You're done. Personal, I hate yeah. you. I'll cut you. Bye. Yeah. How long? How long do we think we're not talking to Cutter for? Oh, he's that gone. Moment? We're broken up. What? No. That's I extreme. Don't, I, don't like it. I think. I think I three like hours it. later, when that's you're so I'm annoyed. That's a Long Island girl. This I know. is what we do. That's uh, I yeah. Don't that's extreme. Like it. You're he didn't done. do anything wrong. It's it's an old video. I don't I'm like with, it. I'm with her, by the way. I don't yeah. like it. This is all. You never know where. We're, I, if if I walked into my girl masturbating to a video of her and her ex bang, of course we're done. I mean, listen, if we had two kids and married, maybe you try and fucking do whatever. But yeah. That'd better help. Yeah. But you fucking, you know, <laughs> you you gotta. I, I, if it's just someone I'm dating and they're masturbating to their ex banging them, like yeah, it's like hey, nice to you know, like shake hands. Like uh, let's, we're done. <sighs> yep. That's yeah. insane. But what's the difference of them imagining it or looking at the video? I you just will then never I don't know. know. Then you don't know. So it's really well, about you knowing. Well, if they told me that they were imagining it, we'd have the same problem. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it if, would if probably they were be even worse. It. If they were like, oh, well, when we're banging, I usually Ignorance imagine it's my ex. is bliss. Yeah. But I just think pulling up a video on your phone is a, is a, an imagining are two very different things. Because that's like an action. You're saving this video. That's like, it's purposeful. Right. As opposed to if somebody pops in your head sometimes, somebody pops in your head sometimes. Right. A example... If you call a girl something in the heat of, of sex, it's not the same as if you call it to her while you guys are sitting, maybe watching TV or so. You know what I mean? Like you can different. get away because yeah. it's like, oh man, we were in the yeah. moment. We're like, 
if you're masturbating and you happen to think of something, it's like, oh, you know, you were in the moment. That's okay. But if it's like, no, 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 I have a folder. Mm-hmm. Then I mm-hmm. think we're it's a little you know, more premeditated. You're, you're I like that we're like legislating this. We're like figuring out first degree, second degree, third degree yes. cheating. Yeah. yeah, yeah, or I guess mental cheating. This yeah. could be a, we, we we thought about possibly a spinoff of this could be a little show called Judge Jamie. Rob could be my bailiff. I would just love to just handle situations like this. I like it. Where I decide who's guilty and who's not. I like it. Well, you decided that she was in love with her friend. I did. We didn't even get into that. But that's a sidebar. Carol, I think you're in love with him. But, you know. Because you think she's trying to, she's I think she's so bothered for him because she she loves him. She 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 wants this girl out of the picture. To like throw their relationship for a loop and and get, get like tell him that you know just because what if the best friend was like i don't really care and she was like no this is a big oh, deal right. that's oh when when you get in a fight that's the worst when you get into a fight with your girlfriend and it's not bad but then like eight hours later it's bad because you're like oh you went and spoke to fucking you know, yeah. jessica yeah. like yes. that's what this is you're yeah. not really mad at me how do you recover jessica, from this? that's the worst how do you recover man? from this after seeing the video Seeing the way that he was, you know. That's rough. Well, here's what I want to know, Jamie. If, if let's say you walked in on Cutter uh, jerking off to <laughs> his ex girlfriend, it's funny, <laughs> a video of it. Now he's gone, right? And you go to tell your friend for the first time, you call up fucking whoever, Suzanne. Mm-hmm. You go, Suzanne, mm-hmm. do you say he cheated on me? Do you consider no. it? Right. No. So it's not cheating. Yeah. So how do you, like, if, because this would put it into context for you that it's not that bad, because I don't think it's that bad. Because nothing, nobody touched anyone. But so it's how a would saving you even, the video. I know, but how would you even explain it? How would you even, what did he do? Like, what's the crime? By the way, I was, I think Cutter would leave me. I love his if name is found, Cutter. I know. I think he would leave me <laughs> if he caught me doing that. Oh, for sure. Or he would stay with you and torture you about yes. it forever. Yes, oh, that's Are actually sure? would be that's worse punishment. Move. That's what, yeah. exactly what he <laughs> would do. How long have you guys been together? Uh, 13 years. I don't know if he would leave you over that. I don't think he'd leave me, but he would torture me about it. 13 years of marriage. Sometimes you need a little something to spice it up. He may look at the video and go, let's watch it together. You know why he might, (laughs) you know why he might leave her? Because she pretends like she hates all of her exes. You know, Uh like she- What do you mean I pretend? I'm just, but well, I'm saying it it would be pretend if he caught you watching the video, all of a sudden it's like, wait, you said you hated that guy and now you're watching a fucking video. And you're like, that's exactly why I'm watching it. Then you're a little spice to it. Yeah, then you're crazy. Yeah. No, I only said I hated one. Oh, I'm sure we could figure out a second and a third. If we really, that first one, you don't hate that guy? The guy who Oh, from fucking, high school? Those it's, don't count. Rob loves she's, to talk about this I guy. fucking love this story. Don't give him airtime. She, she's, her ex, her first boyfriend was so crazy. He gets into a car accident driving. Very Long Island. What does he hit a tree? Yes. Jamie's passed out in the passenger seat. He obviously has a rap sheet. So he goes around the other side puts her in the fucking passenger seat and he gets in the driver's seat like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a fucking dirtbag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Long Island. He so if she's, if she's yeah. jerking off to, a, if she's masturbating to a video of that guy, uh, we yeah. got problems. Why do Long Island girls, good girls like that I fucking love, It bag. was my phase. It was my phase. It was my one phase. That is baddest, one of the dirtiest boy. moves I've ever heard. Yeah, all, dirty all time. Man. All uh, time. I remember, move. oh my God, with this guy, I remember Holy he mackerel. had his cell phone bill in his room and I looked at it. Mm. And you know what? In your, your old cell phone bill, it would have all your calls. And there was this chick and I noticed that they had like a lot of calls back and forth calls like late at night. That's how I found out he was cheating on me with this girl. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's, it sounds like a, maybe the seventh worst thing he's done to you. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. But that was the kicker. That's what made me get out. God. But he that was, was awesome because so was... the car accident thing didn't, you were still with him after that? I was. You stayed well, she, with she, him? She, had a, she was minorly concussed. Yeah. So, yeah. But you woke, did you wake up in the driver's seat? I wasn't injured. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, I was like, were the cops I think I was like, like you're, just out of it. You're, dr- you're getting arrested for it drunk was, driving? Uh, no, it was icy. The car skidded. He wasn't drunk. He just was driving my car and crashed it and didn't want to be in any more trouble than he already was and is so he threw you in he, the, he threw, threw you under the bus yeah, yeah. he put you in the yeah Slithered and i think i reasoned that oh he's protecting me because he shouldn't have been driving my car right that's exactly what he so was so he doing. was a gentleman he was looking out for you yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a, what a <laughs> prince we, tell <laughs> we should all be so lucky to find someone who's so thoughtful yeah that's right that's what i thought at the time
<laughs> we uh, that's a funny story. Uh, that is, yeah. Well, listen, we've gone over our this time. So fun. Thank you so this much. Thank for, you so for much for coming yeah. on. Yeah, this, thanks for inviting me to Washington Square Park. Hang out with <laughs> no guys. problem. Yeah. This is actually modeled after. I grew up going to uh, Car Schultz Park, and this is modeled after a table in Car Schultz Park, nice. on 80, 86th Street and uh, East End Avenue. If anybody wants to go check that out, I'm familiar. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar. Next time we'll do a little island. Yeah. We'll go to the island. We'd love it. Have some bagels. Jamie we'll do a show us. We'll get some cannolis. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie will show us around. Cannolis. Yeah, I'm just heavy bakery, like bagels. Bagels. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, bagels. yeah. Bagels, it's all, yeah. you know, you do Town bagels. Shout out Town bagels. Town bagels. Bagel. I was just there in December <laughs> like up. eight times. They're the best. To the point where my son was like, is there anywhere else we can go no, in the morning? Town bagels. And La Piazza bagels. right next to La yours. Piazza. <laughs> the pizza. That's the best. Those are my two go-tos when I'm out there. Mine too. Yeah. I bet we've run into each other and not even know. We're like right in the area yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got to get the kids Let's together. Get the whole thing. That's right. You got two girls. I Yeah, we'll hang out in the cul-de-sac and perfect talk about MS-13. Yeah. <laughs> we the, other other MS. <laughs> the other MS. There's another one? Yeah, it's a lot different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank Honor. you. Honor.